Hi guys, my name is Rebecca and I'm a Nigerian YouTuber. If this is your first time here on my channel, please join the family by clicking on the subscribe button. I have an amazing content on my channel. Alright, let's go into today's video. As you can see by the title, I'm going to be talking about friends. So what prompted this video? Actually, I woke up this morning and I was going through the Instagram space and a colleague of mine posted something on our Instagram page and she was talking about friends and she was lamenting about how her friends are not there for her. She just started a business recently and she expected her friends to support. I mean, when I say support, not totally financially. So she was expecting her friends to support her by encouraging her, motivating her, posting her on their social media i mean if you call someone your friend if you're close to them if you're starting a new business you're doing something new i mean i think they should be able to do all those things for you so she really really complained bitterly and how that has demotivated her from continuing the business and how it has also affected her because you know she was expecting so much from them and they are not even forthcoming in anything at all and after I finished reading this, it made me remember a story one of my friends narrated to me that was a month ago. So I was in Nigeria a month ago and so I was supposed to meet up with this, my friend, you know, just catch up or something. And, you know, he told me he's going to come this is a day and I was expecting him, but I didn't see him. And, you know, I, I totally forgot about it because, I mean, we all have things we're busy doing. So... I mean, I don't, if you're not able to make it, it's fine. And I totally understood that it might be busy or something, something happened and he's not able to make it. One month down the line, I posted on my WhatsApp status and he commented and he also apologized for not being available the other time that he was supposed to come meet me. And then he called me. He started narrating how he was depressed all through that month and, you know, he had to go isolate himself that even that same day that he spoke with me it was like the second day he had to go isolate himself somewhere else away from friends guys do not mind the background noise i have a baby in the house okay so he narrated all that to me and he there was something he, he spoke about that was really really heartbreaking and he talked about how he was down financially and not because he is not working or he has not been working but because he had invested in some business and it didn't work out and the money was was a huge amount of money so it really really affected him emotionally mentally like he, he almost broke down totally so he also talked about how he has been there for his friends financially to be specific financially and then when he was faced with his own challenges these people were not they were nowhere to be found he needed his friends to be there for him financially emotionally and in so many ways but they all neglected him even though they are aware of what he was passing through at that moment he also talked about how his friends that he has helped in the past financially his friends that he has linked up with some other friends to get a job and how they just abandoned him and he just went through a state of depression for like three to four months. He was depressed. He had to leave his surroundings and he went to isolate himself. At that point, my heart skipped because I had gone through a phase like this before. And thank God for a few people that were around me. And one of my friends, Lola, shout out to you if you're watching this. And she was, even though I didn't talk to her, I didn't tell her what was going on. But from my reaction, from my response, she was able to even find out what was wrong with me and you know she was not there financially for me but she was there emotionally she was there to speak life into me she was there to motivate me she was there to encourage me she gave me so many scenarios of what people are passing through and how they are able to come out of it and so on so back to the topic and um, i don't know i see people call themselves best friends they call themselves family friends they call themselves close friends and when it is time to exhibit the role of a friend, these people are nowhere to be found. For me, if I call you my friend, trust me, I'm going to be there for you financially if I'm capable at that point. I'm going to be there for you emotionally. I'm going to be there for you to encourage you. I'm going to be there for you to motivate you when you need it. If you start a business, I will be the first person to purchase 
product from you. And you know, it is things like this that make people go into depression, that make people to commit suicide because they feel like what is left again if people I call my friends, my family, are nowhere to be found. They cannot be there for me. They are supposed to. They are supposed to be people that will lift me up when I'm down. So if all these things are not there, so what am I living for? I don't want this story to be too long. I mean, I just want to come out here to say to people: if you call yourself a friend, if you call yourself a family, if you call yourself a sister, please always be there for people. People are really going through a lot this period, especially this COVID season where people are out of job, where people's business has collapsed and you know their investments all gone and so on. So these scenarios alone are enough to bring people down, are enough to make people depressed. So if you as your their friends are not there for them, then what's the point? Let us try to be sensitive to people around us, try to listen to them, Try to find out what they are going through if you notice anything is wrong or there's a change in their behavior. I mean, when I was passing through my own face, it was not as if I went to speak to someone, right? No, I didn't. It just happened that they noticed a change in my behavior. I was more to myself. I was always quiet. I don't interact with people the way I do before. And then from there, they were able to know that something is wrong. So guys, if you say you're a friend to someone, please act the role, play the role in their life. This life enough is hard for someone to, you know, quickly break down. Adulthood is hard. So the least we can do for one another is to be there for each other. All right, guys, we've come to the end of the video and thank you so much for watching till the end. If you haven't subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and you can also click on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a video. Bye.